Hello all. So in this video, we will be starting with Fermi Dirac distribution. Okay. But before moving to that concept, okay, we will gradually proceed to it. Okay, from the Fermi level concept, right? So first of all, let us move towards what is Fermi level. Obviously, the name indicates that it's some kind of energy level, and it's an energy level. So everything needs a reference, right? So there is one reference, okay, energy level, which is considered. and at below this reference level the probability of getting electron is 100% but provided the temperature is 0 kelvin that is some reference is being said that below this reference level the probability of getting electron is 100% what at reference level that is what is the probability of electron of, of getting electron at the fermi level that we will be seeing in a while okay in a fermi dirac function but it is clear that the it is a some reference level below which the probability of electrons getting is 100% suppose let's say this is our fermi level okay and as we all know that we have finite number of states okay we have quantum states as per our quantum, uh, previous lectures as i said in okay in quantum physics so let's say these are the states and the electrons this is the fermi level okay let's say this is the fermi level reference level okay some reference level so below this reference level all the states whatever number of states are there whatever may be the number all the states will be filled that is the probability will be 100% or we can say probability will be 1 okay of getting electrons below it but what about here right what about at fermi level so at fermi level it is calculated by the fermi dirac function and it is being given by f of e com e comma t since it is a function of both energy and temperature and provided temperature t is in kelvin okay and you can also say that at 0 kelvin or at less than 0 kelvin also you will find okay you can consider less than or equal to 0 also correct so less than or equals to so f e comma t where e is the temperature okay and e is the particular energy level okay on at which we need to find the probability of electron so it is given by 1 upon 1 plus e raised to e minus ef by kt where k is the boltzmann constant as we all know okay so ef it is the it is the fermi level okay of particular semiconductor and it depends okay on semiconductor to semiconductor okay its value may get change depending on the type of semiconductor so it is the fermi energy that is energy of the electrons in the fermi level so fermi energy is this and e this e is the energy okay uh, the energy state of the electron for which we have to calculate the probability that is what this fermi dirac distribution will give this is fermi dirac distribution or fermi dirac distribution function so what this gives this gives the probability of electrons possessing a particular energy e at particular temperature t okay in kelvin over here you have to substitute in kelvin as we know kt is an unit of energy and it is also unit of unit of energy this is both are energy subtractions okay so it is satisfying the units criteria right so we can say that here ef is the fermi energy and what this actually gives is probability of electron occupying the energy state e and now as i said earlier e at temperature t you can add that also okay and provided we you have to write the temperature in kelvin and now you may ask what at the fermi level means what at e equals ef so obviously you can calculate that at e equals ef here we get e raised to 0 which is 1 so at e equals ef what will happen we get the f of e comma t that is fermi dirac sensor will be 1 so here suppose the number of states are let's say 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 6 are the number of states so you will find that three states would be filled by the electrons and three will be empty so we can say that the probability is half but below this the probability will be 100% okay at but at this temperature increasing temperature what will happen we will be seeing right now so our next 
task is to plot the energy versus probability diagram so how we will plot that okay so let's try to plot it so this is energy and this is probability or we can say our function f of e comma t okay this is energy which is this energy right this one so let's plot so this is zero and let's say this is probability one and this is probability half that is 0.5 so as we all know at 0.5 what will happen at where the energy will be ef possessed by electron so at ef this will be and what will happen when we increase right what will happen when we increase the temperature that we need to see okay by this graph so let's say at t equals 0 kelvin we are talking about so obviously at t equals to 0 kelvin what will happen the probability will be 1 for e less than ef right so the probability will be 1 okay for e less than ef and this is the graph for let me write with another color that this is the graph for t equals 0 kelvin correct now what will happen as we increase the temperature so let's plot so as we increase the temperature what will happen let me first plot and then i will explain sorry this will follow this and now it will deviate this follow this and now deviate okay like this so this is something at temperature t equals t1 provided t1 is greater than the 0 kelvin now right so now we have increased temperature so you can clearly see what happened that the energy of electrons has increased below ef the electrons probability has okay decreased from 1 before the probability was 1 but now it has been decreased and the energy of electrons above that is over here this is the reference level right so this is the reference level right this one so above reference level also we have states so now the electrons probability that is finding uh, the electrons in this higher state that is above this reference level our fermi level will now increase as we increase the temperature t right so again let's back towards this that this is the curve okay for t equals t1 and t1 is greater than 0 kelvin so what will happen obviously you can say that the electrons which are which were here now they will jump over here so obviously their probability will decrease right below ef so electrons below ef will now decrease and they these electrons which were decreased will now go above ef obviously there there is no generation more generation whatever electrons are there okay in that only we have increment or decrement depending on the temperature so, so these electrons will move upwards from okay downward side from so that is from below fermi level they will now go to above fermi level so now again let us raise the temperature so again what will happen it will follow the curve up till some temperature then what will happen then it will be like this again and more number of electrons will now jump so this is the curve okay this one is for t2 temperature t2 provided t2 is greater than t1 at t equals t2 and t2 is greater than t1 so temperature is more increase now so as we increase more and more temperature more number of electrons okay below fermi level now will go to the states above fermi level and so you can clearly see that the probability of the electrons okay that is the energy will increase okay i hope the graph is clear correct so that is it that is all about fermi level and there is one appro approximation also which was given by uh, maxwell boltzmann maxwell maxwell's boltzmann approximation and what they said that when e minus ef is very very greater than kt or in other words we can write e minus ef by kt is very very greater than one what will happen this term okay this whole term will be 
very big as compared to 1 so we can neglect 1 in the denominator and we can write the Fermi derived function directly as f of e comma t as approximated 1 as 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon just we, we have neglected 1 we, we can write just 1 upon e raised to e minus e f by k t this was nothing but our approximation given by this to Maxwell and Boltzmann. So what we conclude? We conclude that what actually Fermi derived distribution gives? It gives that we can say that we know that electrons will have allowed energy states but actually how many electrons will have the particular allowed energy states is given by the Fermi Dirac distribution correct and obviously at particular given temperature. So from next video we will be starting with the conduction band effective mass relation with number of free electrons in conduction band that is NC, NV and other topics in a thorough detail okay please understand this graph very carefully you can understand this graph by plotting probability over here and energy on x-axis I think it will be easy to understand okay try that also this is also easy to understand but try that also okay so that's it and if you are having facing any confusion then please let me know in the comment section I will be explaining this graph okay thank you